Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Akshita Gorty and Karisa Yip. This is a game from United States Championship Women's Section 2019. Akshita Gorty had white pieces and she started with knight to f3. Karisa Yip played knight to f6. e3, g6, d4. Bishop to g7, c4. Karisa Yip castled kingside. Bishop to e2, d6. Play with the black pieces is playing king's Indian defense. Knight to c3, c6. Akshita Gorti castled kingside 2. a6, preparing b5, maybe. Queen to c2, e4, maybe on the menu. Knight from b to d7, rook to d1. Lining the rook with the black queen. Queen to c7, b4. Perhaps discouraging c5. c5 was played. b takes on c5, d takes on c5, and now d5. And white has a space advantage. The general rule is, if you have less space, you want to exchange pieces. And this is what happened. Knight to e5. Knight takes on e5, queen takes on e5. f4, attacking the queen, queen to f5. Bishop to d3. Attacking the queen again, a queen to h5, bishop to d2, white is ahead in the development. And now e5, white to move, pawn takes pawn and passan. Bishop takes on e6, rook from a to b1, attacking the pawn on b7. How to defend the pawn? What would you do in this position? If you had black pieces, I guess most players would play rook from a to b8. Carissa Yip didn't defend the pawn. She played rook from a to d8, allowing white to take the pawn. Interesting strategy, isn't it? White to move, knight to e4. What's wrong with taking the pawn? Let's see. If rook takes on b7, then knight to g4, threatening, queen takes on h2. After the natural h3, bishop takes on c3. And after queen takes on c3, knight to e5. And the black is winning. Unbelievable. Back to our game. Knight to e4 was played, removing the target. Knight takes on e4. Bishop takes on e4. Queen to e2, pinning the bishop on d2. It is white to move. Bishop takes on b7 was played. What happens if rook takes on b7? Then one line goes like this. Bishop to c3. If bishop takes on c3, then rook takes rook check. Black is winning. And let's go back. If queen takes on c3, then queen takes rook check is winning. Back to our game. Bishop takes on b7 was played. White is a pawn up, threatening to win one more pawn, perhaps. Black to move. What would you do in this position if you had black pieces? Karisa Yip played bishop to f5, attacking the queen and exiling the rook on b1. e4. This is the critical position of the game. It is black to move. What would you do in this position if you had black pieces? Please pause and find the best move for black. Did you pause? What did you find? Carissa Yip played bishop to h3. Let's take it back. Bishop to d4, check, is even stronger. And after king to h1, then bishop to h3. e5 is not as strong by white as in the game. Back to our game. In the game we have bishop to h3, threatening, check, mate. Why to move? How to solve the problem? If pawn takes bishop, then bishop to d4, check. King to h1, queen to f3, check, mate. And let's go back. If in this position, bishop to e3, then bishop takes on e3, check. King to h1, queen to f3, check. Queen to g2, rook takes on d1, check. Rook takes rook, queen takes on d1, check. Queen to g1, queen takes queen, check, mate. 
back to our game. Akshita Gorky played the best move. e5. Blocking the bishop on g7 and defending the pawn on g2. Pretty good move. But what happened next surprised everybody. Black played the move and white resigned. Unbelievable. What is the move? What would you do in this position if you had black pieces? Karisa Yip played bishop to f5. And Akshita Gorty, player with the white pieces, resigned. Was this too early? Yes, it is. Let's see why. Akshita Gorty considered the queen to c1 and then she thought she was losing the rook on b1. But bishop takes rook on b1 is not the best move. Perhaps the strongest move is bishop to g4. Black is slightly better, but the game would go on. The move that player with the white pieces feared, bishop to b1, is not good for black. Why? Well, you can't play Akshita Gorty. She didn't see this move. Bishop to f3. And one line goes like this. Queen to d3, but then bishop to a5. And it's not so easy for black, is it? One line goes like this. This is quite messy, but one line goes like this. Rook to d4. Rook takes queen, bishop takes on d3. And it is not clear at all who is winning. But let's go back to the last move of the game. This is the position. White indeed resigned too early. Well, this happened once even to the former world champion, Gary Kasparov. Gary Kasparov resigned in a drawn position against the blue. It happens to us all, doesn't it? What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.